very very good evening friends this is rahul magan here as a group chief executive officer treasury consulting and also a venture capitalist treasury consulting is a multi dimensional corporate based out singapore india hong kong and probably after coronavirus we would be setting in london and new york as well as you know that treasury consulting all set to enter high frequency trading which is also known as hft and few great people terming this as robo advisory in singapore more or less it is same to be honest and how many robo advisors closed in 2020 of course singapore is also not an exception you can check on the google the data is there and i have not made that data by the way one of the important things that we need to understand when it comes to high frequency trading is definitely the importance of statistics statistics play a very important role in high frequency trading and unfortunately it is the it is one of the areas which are ignored by the people those who wanted to enter into the high frequency trading so example simplistic example there are two kind of people who works in high frequency trading one those who are functionally correct and one those who are coding wise correct one who are functionally correct means they understand how financial market works example how foreign exchange market works everyone wanted to enter into the world of foreign exchange but hardly anyone understand how the market works how interbank market works how goldman sachs interact with jp morgan how jp morgan interact with hsbc how the systems like reuters bloomberg and different system work not many people even even understand that and this is one of the reason why there is a lot of mess we have in the system in the in in the financial market because sometimes a non understanding person hits a bank and just you know you know that there are there we today we have a lot of banks who used to be king at a given point of time i don't want to name many european banks but we know that in fact few american banks also they were king in 2008 and people were dying to work for them and now few of them are closed and many by the way are about to close and cutting thousands of jobs the reason is that the world is moving towards hft but unfortunately quants are getting more importance another mistake which we are committing hft needs two people number one definitely people who are functionally correct example the people who know how financial market work how interbank works how credit derivative works how mt4 mt5 works how mt4 and mt5 is linked with each of the systems and so on and so forth these functionally competent people may or might not be competent in statistics that i agree but before i go further we need really need to understand that statistics play a very important role in high frequency trading if you do not have statistics you are really bound to lose i'm telling you you are you are bound to lose the big statistics play a very important role example let's talk a simple example of lob which is limit order book i don't think i need to explain what do you mean by limit order book a limit order book is nothing but a book which is maintained by the exchange wherein all limit orders are coming from the buy side and from the sell side and system make it work nowadays the world is talking about fancy things and artificial intelligence and machine learning unfortunately in the covid 19 the world somehow recognized that artificial intelligence and machine learning is a great hype as usual so the world is talking about ai or lob ai means artificial intelligence limit order book so when we come to H uh, when when we speak about uh, hft which is high frequency trading if any young gun i am also young by the way turning 37 next year 
so if any young gun wanted to enter into high frequency trading he would be doing some courses and learning the coding piece guys with due respect there are millions of coders we have across the globe millions of coders but how many of the millions of coders are functionally competent people they understand how reuters work did you ever open reuters and see any forward curve any currency gbp euro swiss franc japanese yen any currency whatever do you really understand how exactly it works example in case of gp with jpy there is a link which is coming which is called assuming there is a information coming that goldman is just just bought goldman just bought gbp but goldman bought gbp for whom for himself or for some client and with who and for whom and with whom goldman bought with jp morgan assuming jp morgan bought with whom hsbc assuming hsbc with gold uh, hsbc with standard chartered standard chartered with barclays barclays with credit suisse credit suisse with ups and then this cycle continues but do we really understand how it works Trishy Consulting is now entering into high frequency trading and I still remember 2016 when I first shot my video in the financial market and I am thank you that many people today are thinking in a different direction rather than in a theoretical direction. High frequency trading requires an, an, an excellent understanding of the functional piece. Example. High frequency trading can be done on spots. Now the spots can be can be defined in three ways. The one kind of spot is the spot of currencies who are like GBP, Euro, Swiss franc, Canadian dollar, Japanese yen, and all. One kind of spot who are non-deliverable, USD, INR you know, Chinese yuan, Philippines peso, Malaysian ringgit, Vietnam dong. Thailand bath and many one kind of spot those who are not non deliverable but also not GBP AD SAR Katri Rial and like that so guys if I'm making a high frequency system on a spot am I supposed to know in a very finest way that exactly which spot I, I wanted to cover am I covering GBP in fact, even in the most traded spot of the globe, the way GBP moves, Swiss franc do not. Because Swiss franc is having limitation, which is Euro to Swiss franc. Which, by the way, a high frequency trader or a high frequency system configure should know very well. But I really do not know whether he understands or not. That's the most important thing. So guys, what I wanted to convey here is that when we speak about high frequency trading, we really need to understand that the basic knowledge and the fundamental knowledge of financial market is very much required and that to the practical understanding, which unfortunately most people do not have. And people tend to spare a lot of time in coding. So example, you know, I will tell you, if you get some time, now you see a lot of videos about high frequency trading. If you get some time, just download any MT4. There are many MT4s that are available in the public domain, but that doesn't mean that they will give you everything. Download any MT4, MetaTrader 4, and just look at the way they are moving. Hey guys, do you know from where they are getting rate? Who is an input to MT4? Many people do not know. And MT4 is an input for whom? That's also matters. Which creates the best LOB in the world. Limit auto book. And, 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 and this is the first video. So I'm talking uh, in a little simplest way. As the more videos have come, I'm going to be talking in a 
little different way and maybe technically. So one thing which we need to understand very clearly to conclude the video that if you really wish your career in high frequency trading, you need to have an exceptional skill of statistics. Without statistics, I doubt that you would be able to enter the world of high frequency trading. The better you are equipped in statistics, the better you would be in high frequency trading. That is according to me is must. And I understand statistics is huge, but you should understand statistics very well. Another important thing that you learn in the high frequency trading is the functional understanding of the financial market and that to the way Reuters and Bloomberg works, not in the books. There is a big difference. Books is like, you know, and third important thing which you need to learn in the high frequency trading very importantly is that how the different systems configured with each other example MT4, MT5, C Trader, Web Trader, Reuters, Bloomberg, EMSX, FXOL and all these things. That's really important. Of course, I understand that Python role is there and eventually very soon I would be exploring Python in, on our YouTube channel when the time permits. This is our first introduction to high frequency trading. And I think that high frequency trading is the future. There is no doubt that the US and Europe is moving towards high frequency trading. There is not a single doubt. Singapore is fancy about robo advisory by the way it is same high frequency trading the only difference is here robo manage everything and most important thing in high frequency trading is that majority of the systems are not equipped to handle the crashes which is by the way is known as flash crash and soon i'll let you know so this is the beginning of Treasury Consulting in the high frequency trading. As I told you that we are committed to enter into exotic stuff like commodity exchanges, CTRM, probably ETRM soon, commodities trading, risk management, energy trading, risk management, now high frequency trading. And there are so many things that are coming on the cards, but we really need to understand that fundamentals has to be very clear before thinking about these things. This is definitely your call. You know, uh, you know our WhatsApp nine eight one eight four eight five one double five. Have a great time. Thank you.